Welcome and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to e-file your ACA 1095s using the Atrix e-file solution. Once you have selected the ACA form from your host software, you'll begin the company setup process. The first screen you'll see is an opportunity to test drive the software. You can choose to test drive any time during the year. You can select the first 25 employees or you can select all of your employees. In this case, we're going to begin filing, so I'll say no thanks and go next. We're going to verify the EIN that you're filing for. This is so that if you are filing for more than one company, we make sure you have the correct company loaded. If you have more than one data file for a single EIN, you'll need to repeat the process for each of those data sets. You'll need to click Yes, I use multiple ACA data files, and the files will be merged at the end of the process. We'll verify your company information. This is important because this is what will appear on the 1095. You need to identify yourself as someone who is filing just for their own company or if you are a third party paid tax preparer. IRS wants to know who you are and have a couple of questions. You also need to identify whether again whether you're filing for your own company or if you are a designated government entity filing on the behalf of employers. You can choose to truncate the social security number of the individuals that you are filing for by selecting asterisk or X. Once you've completed your company setup and your data has been uploaded, you'll go through a series of quick information uh, questions that are required in order to file on your behalf. You'll need to note whether or not you are self-insured so that you file either C's or B's. Do you have any addresses that are foreign addresses so that they can be properly handled? Uh, the total number of 1095's that are going to be uh, submitted on your behalf? It'll ask you the question, is this the authoritative transmittal for this EIN? That just means you're the person you want to file and this is a filing you want to do. Are all the employees included on this EIN? Once you've correctly selected that, you can see that the data has been filled in on the right-hand side of the form. The last question is whether or not you're a member of an aggregated uh, ALE group. If you have questions about this, you'll need to look at the IRS and make certain that you understand it. Once you've completed the company setup questions, you'll now review the data that will be filed on your behalf. The first step here is to verify the employee information. This center bar does move in order to reveal more information to be reviewed. See names, addresses, social security numbers. Once you've verified that data, go forward. You'll then verify the covered individual's information, which appears at the bottom of the screen. If there's any missing data, you'll see that it's highlighted in red, and you'll need to make sure that you enter the correct data. You'll then identify those individuals who've chosen to receive their 1095 electronically. That's done by checking the box. The final step then is to verify employee coverage information. This is this month by month information that you have entered previously. Once you have verified that information, you can move forward. At this point, you'll select the level of service that you'd like. Of course, the best practice here is to use the complete e-file service with this service. Atrix will print and mail your employee copies. They'll be in the mail as early as the next business day. Those employees that have chosen to have their 1095s delivered electronically will be provided login information. We'll file the 1095s and 1094s to the IRS on your behalf, and all of the 1095s will be hosted online. This is helpful if someone calls you and says, hey, I never received my 1095 or I lost my 1095. You can simply provide them a password and the website information they can go and print their own copy. We offer a PDF archive which is available on a flash drive for storage within a fire safe or off-site for your protection. This is a list of exactly what Atrix will be doing for you. We'll file the Fed 95 and the Fed 94. We will print and mail the 1095 as well as provide electronic information for those employees receiving it electronically and will allow you the opportunity to print your employer 1095C copies. You will have an opportunity to review all of the forms that will be filed on your behalf. The first is the Federal 1094. Secondly, the Fed 95s that will be filed on your behalf. These are the instructions for the 1095. You can certainly print this and provide it to your employees or keep a copy for yourself. This is the opportunity for you to print the employer copies of the 1095s. And these are the employee 1095Cs that will be put in the mail the very next business day. 
once you've reviewed all of your data, reviewed the forms that are going to be filed on your behalf, you'll simply log in to the Atrix eFile Center using the username and password that you created when you enrolled at eFile.atrix.com. You'll then review the EIN, review what we're going to do for you, provide a credit card for payment, and you're done. That's just how easy it is to e-file your 1095s using the Atrix e-file solution. If you have questions, you can certainly go to aca.atrix.com.